god. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today's video is all about this new Maybelline Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette. It just launched on, um, well actually I pre-ordered it a couple weeks ago. It launched like on the 13th, just got it, now I'm filming with it. I wanted to purchase it because when I first saw pictures of it on Instagram, I was kind of in love with it. I mean look at these colors, it's perfect for spring, perfect for summer I just saw so many great things happening with this palette that I had to get my hands on it I had to film it for you guys especially because it's a super affordable palette I paid I believe $12.99 for it and I don't didn't pay for shipping because I got it on Amazon and I have Amazon Prime but yeah I don't typically lean towards drugstore eyeshadow palettes because I seem to always have issues with them but I couldn't pass up on this beautiful looking palette I did create this eye look using these eyeshadows on my eyes. I also show you guys some swatches of all the shades in the palette. If you want to see how this palette worked out for me, how the shades worked out for me, please make sure you keep on watching. We're getting straight into this tutorial. So by looking at all the swatches, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel like there's a lot of sheerness happening. I kind of suspected that but I was just hoping for a little bit more. What I'm really hoping is that they're not gonna show up sheer on my lid, so we are just gonna kinda hope for the best. <laughs> As I was swatching them, there's really not fallout at all using my finger, but we will see what happens when I dip my brush into there. The shades are really creamy, all of them. The shimmer shades are creamy, and the matte shades are creamy as well. I do have my eyelids primed already. I actually used, I used something different for my eyelids. I used this Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C10 and then I set that with my Laura Mercier setting powder and now we're just gonna dip into this eyeshadow and see what happens I'm using an Anastasia brush even though we already set the lids I'm going to dip into this shade okay wow a lot of fallout when you use the brush so there's that but I'm dipping into sherbet right there just to kind of wow a lot of fallout <laughs> But I'm dipping in the sherbet just to get another like base going. I'm going to try to use a lot of the colors in the palette. Maybe just use them just because. But now we're going to dip into this like soft pink salmon color. It's called Berry Ice. Oh god, there's so much fallout using the brush. It's crazy. But we're going to get this in our transition area. This shade is very sheer on the lid as well. It's probably more so for like a brow bone highlight, but whatever. All right, let's dip into some real colors. So we're gonna dip into this light brown tan shade called Sweet Tea. We're keeping this in the transition area as well. And I'm bringing it all the way to the inner corner because we are going to Go for a cut crease today. I'm already feeling a little disappointed with this palette. I just feel like nothing's happening on my lid. I don't like that. So it definitely took a while to actually get the color to pay off on my lids. I had to keep adding product. And even with that, I just feel like ugh, I need a little bit more from this. But we're going to move on. I am changing my brush because we're going to now focus more toward like the outer corner and the crease area. So this is just a Morphe brush. I'm sure it came in a set. We are going to move over to the darker brown called Old Fashioned. And we're starting on the outer corner and staying in the crease, working our way all the way to that inner corner. This darker brown shade, even though I'm dipping into more product, seems to have a little bit more pigment than the other shadows I've used already, so that's exciting. Bye. 
Alright, you guys, so I was done with the brown, dark brown shadow, and it was looking okay over here. And then I dipped into the bright pink color called Ice Pop, and I wanted to just get some like, pink on top of that brown, and I thought it was actually going to show up as that color. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just a hot, muddy mess. And I'm super disappointed this is not going the way that I expected it to go. I don't know why that just like all of a sudden took off all the freaking shadow. This is like really disappointing. So I'm going to dip back into the brush and I'm going to try to make it work. This is a hot, ugly ass mess, <laughs> you guys. So we have to do the same thing on this side if we're gonna continue to go with this eye look. <sighs> I'm getting so frustrated. This is just not what I had in mind. So it's becoming pretty obvious that these colors don't blend out well together. Super disappointing. Looks like a hot freaking muddy mess up in this. Just trying to blend everything out real quick. Oh my god, it's disgusting. What the hell is going on here? Come on. I don't even know where to go from here. I'm dipping back into that dark brown and let's just see what happens now. Putting the pink on top of that brown definitely made it look purple. You know when you have like a vision of how something's going to look based off of a palette you get and you have like this great idea and you see it all working like in your mind and your imagination and then when you're actually doing it and it turns into a muddy freaking mess, it's like the most disappointing thing ever. Like this is ridiculous. I think what I'm gonna have to do is change up what I'm actually doing, like cover that part with some concealer or something. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna cover this up real quick, see what happens. I have a feeling I'm still gonna end up taking it all off. So I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre to carve out my lid for this cut crease. I am really trying to save this look, but whew, I am struggling here. After carving out my lid and putting the pink over here, like yeah, you can see the pink, but it's like not reacting very well to the base. So it looks a little like chunky, like right here, but we're just going to move on to the other side because we're just moving on. So I'm dipping into that pop of pink and we're just taking this on the outer corner of the cut crease. I don't know if you guys can tell how the palette looks now, but there's major fallout, okay? I did use this yellow shade called Lemon Craze. You can't see it because it really didn't come up and I just covered it with a shimmer, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing because then I'll feel like it's not even. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the pink champagne shimmer color called strawberry lemonade that's gonna go more toward the center of the lid right on top of that yellow I just placed there and then we're gonna use this shimmer um, called main squeeze and that's gonna be in the inner corner area I'm actually wetting my brush with some fix plus as well Alright, that's looking pretty even. I mean, I'm not like really liking how it looks, but we're just gonna move forward. And I'm going to clean up all this freaking eyeshadow all over my face. I might even have to do a little bit of a wing or something, I don't know, but I'm gonna put my full face on and we'll be back. We are back and we are finished with our makeup. I have to be completely honest with you guys, I am just so absolutely disappointed in this freaking palette that I don't even know how to even put it into words. I guess I just had too high of expectations. It just didn't work out today. I don't know if I'm just having a bad makeup day altogether because let's be honest, everyone has a bad makeup day once in a while. See right here, right now, I already had dealt with this earlier and then I tried to cover up 
with some more paint pot and then put more shimmer shadow on there but it's just like bleeding into the eyeshadow it could be the eyeliner I think I'm just having a really bad makeup day altogether aside from that even just blending out these shadows together it was just a hot mess I mean you guys saw it right I'm just like super disappointed in the entire process today I'm gonna try this out one more time to see if it's just an off day for me I don't know what but right now I am just not satisfied I'm super disappointed because looking at this palette like I love the colors I love everything about it and I just really wish that they would have worked out better on my eyelids I wish that my vision that I had for this eye look would have come through it's completely different than what I really wanted to do and I threw on some black eyeliner to try to make it look okay I mean it looks okay but there's just so many little detail items that are going wrong that it's just really really bothering me I was just really expecting more and sadly I'm just not impressed <laughs> but I do want to thank you guys for watching this video you know I could just totally not even upload this video or completely refilm it and act like I didn't have issues with it what would that actually do for anybody who's thinking about buying this palette you know so I'm never going to cover things up for you guys like if I'm just having a bad day with makeup like I'm just gonna tell you I'm having a bad day with makeup I don't know what's going on today the stuff that I'm trying to do is not working out and that's the way it is everybody has that and if anybody says that they don't have bad makeup day they are not being truthful okay so it is what it is it's I'm just leaving it out there we have bad days sometimes again I do want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial and first impressions on this Maybelline Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!